What's going on, boxing fans? Jolan Williams here with the distance. Got a prediction for you guys. Vili Klitschko versus Olenia Solis. WBC heavyweight championship bout. Takes place on March 19th. Um, I don't think it's airing here in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it's going to be airing. I think it's going to be airing on a new network, more than likely. That I'm more than not more than likely not going to pay for because direct TV service is already bad anyway. But it is what it is. Um, heavyweight championship bout. Personally, I think if this was a matchup where if Solis was in very good tip-top shape, then Solis can, uh, then we can be giving Solis like a big chance in this matchup. You know, if he was in better shape. But he's not in shape. And that just takes a little bit of the aura away from this matchup, um, to be honest. But... Olenia Solis, highly, highly esteemed, um, um, highly esteemed, um, f amateur fighter. I think he has a victory over David Hay, fought Sultan of Bragamov as an amateur. Um, Olenia Solis, um, is a, I think he's a very skilled boxer. I think he's skilled, but I think he lacks dedication. That's just the best way to describe Solis. Um, skilled, but, skilled with the lack of dedication. Um, he, I think he, he weighs about 270 pounds. He may weigh about 260, 250, but his best weight is maybe 240, 230 within that range. Um, so, but, um, Vili Klitschko coming off of a 12 round beat down of Shannon Briggs on October the 18th, just, um, excuse me, October the 16th, um, just a 12 round beat down Shannon Briggs. Um, put Shannon Briggs in the hospital, fucked him up real good. In a matchup that Shannon Briggs didn't get any money for, apparently. But, you know, um, overall, Vili Klitschko, I think, is reaching the end of his career, um, in my eyes. Um, he's about 39. He's going to be 40 this year. Um, later this year. I think, you know, I think, um, I just think that, um, we're more than likely we're going to see the end of him sometime this year. And more than likely, I think he's going to fight. He's going to be the one fighting Tomas Adamek this coming fall. Depending on how, you know, depending on how Vladimir Hay plays out. Um, I think it's going to be Villy. But overall, like I said, the match we got in front of us, very good matchup um, in my eyes. I think it's a good matchup. But also, when I think about it, I think it could be either it's a one-sided fight or a big upset. Um... It could be one of the two. But Solis in this match, Solis is going to... Something that Solis does very well is he does put his combinations together very well. He puts his combinations together very well, has pretty good hand speed for a heavyweight. Um, very, you know, very, good, very good power. Um, can counter quite well. Very sharp at countering. And from time to time, um, you know, he doesn't you know, throw too many punches. He kind of... You know, like I said, put, just puts everything together very well. Um, comes forward. You know, he's aggressive when he has to be. Boxes when he knows how to box when he has to. Um, he's just, you know, like I said, he's just out of shape. Um, in this specific matchup, Solis wants to take away the jab of Vili Klitschko because Klitschko, the Klitschko jab sets up everything. It sets up that big right, the big right hand up top. It sets up other combinations using that jab. Um, so he's going to have to... The thing with Solis is... Solis is more likely going to have to take punishment... In order to give punishment. If Solis walks through that jab... If Solis is able to walk through the jab... Solis is going to be dangerous... For, for um, Vili. And that's something that a lot of the Klitschko opponents... Have been unable to do. Most Klitschko opponents cannot walk through that jab because that jab, you know, either, you know, it breaks, it breaks something, you know, like the nose or cut or they get cut or something, or you get that Sam Peter, um, Craig Mack face, um, or, um, they get knocked out from the jab. So, you know, it, it's going to be hard to avoid that jab, but he does need some upper body shoulder movement. To avoid the jab, get inside, and just start um, pounding away on him. 
He wants to get that head, like I said with a lot of the Klitschko opponents, he wants to get that head right in his chest. Against Villy, Villy is the one you want to get your head right in. You want to find a way to kind of you know, maneuver the shoulders around to get, you know, get, a, get around that jab. And you want to put that head right in the chest. Head on the chest and um, be authoritative to the body. Authoritative, maintain the body attack. Um, put, the, put the shots up. Up top, quick hook and quick short hooks inside, but mostly just go to the body, take the range away, and just just well away. That's gonna be Solis' best bet in this matchup. He's not gonna be able to stand and box with Villy. He's not gonna be able to stand and just box with him and expect to win the matchup. Um, either way, he's gonna have to beat him up. Um, that's just going to be his best way to victory. He's going to have to just beat up Vitaly Klitschko. Um, that's just going to be his key to victory. He's just going to have to beat him up, and he's going to have to beat him up inside. And beating up inside is taking the jab away, taking the range away, taking the movement away. Because when Vili moves, then you're opening up. You know, he doesn't want Vili to move because when Vili moves, he's opening up another spot for Vili to come and just jab. To jab and 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 um just beat him up you know off of the jab, so like I said, r taking the range away, getting inside and beating them beating them up. Vili Klitschko, like I said, very good at at setting up his punches, um setting up it you know use use his jabs. The jab is his key weapon. Um, his the thing with Vili Klitschko is he doesn't start off with a rhythm. He sets up his rhythm. He comes in, you know. He, you know, he comes in, you know. He jabs a little bit, but when he, but when he finds his rhythm, you know, he's a dangerous fighter because you can't stop him. You can't stop Vili when he finds that rhythm, you know, because he just, he's just unstoppable because he throws different jab combinations. You know, he comes forward with the jab. He can move off the jab. Everything that Vili does is set up off of the jab. It's set up off the jab, and you know that big right overhand right, the big straight right hand um, that he that he can land quite well. You know, is all set up off the jab. Sometimes, you know, he hooks off that jab. The hook off the jab is not as not as strong as his you know as his jab. It's not as strong. He uses it to kind of when he moves directions. That's when he uses that hook off of that jab. But but overall, everything is just set up off that jab. In this matchup, he's gonna have to come over. You know, he's gonna have to, like I said, use a lot of jab combinations. Um, but I think that Vili has the power to get, you know, in between um, Solis's gloves because Solis does like to stand sometimes in front of you and has the gloves like this. I think he has the power to kind of just penetrate those gloves and come over the top with the right hand um, if he has to um, in this matchup. But like I said, say with a lot of Klitschko opponents, um, or Vili opponents, and I'm just gonna say he's gonna basically all he has to do is find the rhythm with that jab, set him up with jab combinations, different. Like like I said, you know he has different jab rhythms. He fights differently off that jab, and you know he, you know, and you know, and he'll throw about four or five jabs in the big right, or three jabs in the big right. Two jabs, um, left hook off the jab, straight right hand. You know that's just how Vili is, and I think he can just win this matchup off of jab combinations and movement. Jab combinations, movement. Avoid the, um, you know, keep him at the end of the jab. Avoid the, um, avoid infighting with Solis because I think Solis could possibly win it on an inside battle. I think he can get the best of Vili on an inside battle. Vili just has to play it safe and keep him at the end of that jab. So me, I want to go with Vili Klitschko in this matchup. I, I think Vili could take this matchup in, in 12. I think he could knock out Solis in 12 rounds. That's just my that's just in my book. I think he can knock him out in 12 rounds, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.